Hi everyone, I'm your host Lokinder Kumar and today we'll discuss classification of microbes based on their nutrition. We'll discuss how we classify microbes based on their nutritional requirements. I will make more videos where I will discuss in depth about the classification of the microbes based on their nutritional requirements. So let's start this video by discussing what are the sources or what are the compounds that basically a organism, an organism or a microbe requires. The list includes first which is carbon and then you have hydrogen this is very important constituent of the organic molecule. Then you have oxygen. Fourth, you have source of electron. So these are the top most compounds that are required by the microbes. Now what are the importance or the functions of these uh, chemical compounds? If we talk about the carbon, carbon is required. So let's start with carbon. Carbon is required for the structural components or I can say the skeleton of the organism. It makes the backbone or the important structural parts. Then you have hydrogen and oxygen. These are the essential molecules that make organic molecules. So organic molecules, they are made up of carbon, oxygen as well as hydrogen and they are so many. So they are also important source of electron. You need electrons to carry out many complex functions. One of the function is ETC, electron transport chain, where you need to do oxidation and reduction of various substrate. So these are the most essential components that a microorganism or a bacteria requires. Now based on their requirement, they are classified as heterotrophs. Heterotrophs means the organism that uses reduced organic molecules as carbon source. So this is the definition of heterotrophs where organism is using the reduced organic molecules as a carbon source. And then from where the, the requirement of oxygen, hydrogen and electron is being fulfilled, it is being fulfilled from the same source, especially in case of heterotrophs. Now let's talk about another source which is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is an important source. It is present in abundant amount in our atmosphere, but it is the most oxidized form and it lacks of the hydrogen and electrons. So there are no electrons, so therefore you need additional source for the electrons or you need additional energy source which is light. And when you use light as a source and carbon as a, sorry, carbon dioxide as a carbon source, the organisms, they are classified as autotrophs. So the definition of the autotroph is the organism that uses CO2, carbon dioxide, as the sole carbon source. Okay, we are defining these two categories based on their carbon source. Now, one of the important point that needs to be noted is if you are using or if any organism is using more reduced source for carbon that means it is high in energy more reduced means more in energy we can take the example of lipids they are more reduced and as compared to the carbs so you have less energy in case of carbohydrates now here are a few of the examples of microbes that are using diversified substrates, which is actinomycetes, it can utilize amyl alcohol, it can utilize paraffin, it can even utilize rubber. So that means microbes, they have the capability to utilize diverse organic molecules or inorganic molecules. Next example is this one, Burkholderia spacia. This can utilize, this organism can utilize 100 different molecules as a carbon source. You can imagine the capability of this organism. That is why microbes are amazing. They are very important. They, they can degrade harmful molecules that are toxic to our environment. They are toxic to our body. So the application of microbes in 
degrading these uh, toxic molecules is important. And as I have shown you few of the examples, they can utilize their capability and, you know, they can utilize 100 different carbon sources. And during that process, they can degrade those uh, toxic compounds as well. So this was all about uh, the classification of microbes based on their nutrition. Although there are additional points, I have only discussed the heterotrophs and autotrophs. I will discuss some of the detailed or subgroups of these uh, these uh, nutritional groups or categories. Like you have autotrophs, auto photoautotrophs, chemoautotrophs, and there are so many of these categories. I will discuss in my future videos and uh, I will try to explain with examples. So if you like these kind of videos, then please stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and I'll post regularly post these videos and I hope that these videos are going to help you in your studies. All right. Till then, take care.